All right, back in the classroom for some more classroom setup. I brought a lot of stuff with me today. I brought, oh! So I've got my regular bag, which has something in it, but I also brought, okay, I need to return that to a friend, my water cup and a whole bunch of stuff that I need for the room. So number one, I brought these two uh, like pocket folders. I don't have one. Basically, I'm gonna use these to hold my, one of them is to hold all of my like PD certificates as an easy way to organize them because I like to keep a copy at school. I have digital copies of all my certificates, but I like to keep paper copies as well. Um, but so I got two of those because I'm going to use the other one for something. I remember I was going to use it for something. I just don't remember what. Um, <laughs> I also have two shower curtains because I saw this on Instagram and uh, I saw someone using like Walmart shower curtains to do their bulletin boards instead of better than paper or like regular paper. And I don't cover up my bulletin boards because I, they don't need to be covered, like they're a fine color. But the back of that bookcase from the last video, I think I can use shower curtain to cover it. And it'll be way more durable than like regular paper. Also, we don't have butcher paper at my school. So if I wanna cover that with paper, I'd have to like order a bunch of like A3 size paper and attach it to the back of that bookcase. And that's just not something I want to do. So I think I'm going to go with this gray, but I got a white one too, just in case. So two, I got my two shower curtains. I also got some, so these are going to go in my uh, morphology binder that you saw me putting together in the last video. Um, these are just going to hold like smaller pieces for the morphology units. And then I got command strips, command hooks, so I can hang up or like put my phone on the wall. And then I'm gonna add some hooks to the back side of this to keep stuff back here that like I don't necessarily need in students' public eyes. And then this is the one I am most excited about. So yesterday I went to Dongbyeon Munsejang looking for yarn. They have a huge like craft market and it's, I could have stayed there for like seriously six hours, but I was looking for yarn for a crochet project. Um, I did not find yarn for my crochet project like at all. But what I did find is, where did I, oh, okay, hold up. Put it on the table, I gotta go grab it. I saw this idea from, I think it's especially sped on Instagram. I might be wrong. I, I, I'll, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but she made, she made a sequin sensory wall in her classroom. And I think that is a phenomenal idea because I know I definitely like anytime I've had like sequin stuff like this, I've definitely like, so. I'm going to, I don't think, I'm not going to use this whole thing because this is a whole yard of sequin fabric. Like this is absolutely massive. So I might cut this in like half or even in like fourths. And then I think I'm going to put it under my window to the hallway where like my bookcase is. And then I'm going to make like a little reading, relaxing sensory area because I have room for that this year in this classroom. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for the sequin fabric, which I am so excited about. But that is everything that I brought in today. Um, I need to figure out what I want to get accomplished today. Okay, I need to finish doing my morphology binder. That needs to be finished today. I need to, I would love to clear off this desk. That would be great. And then I think today I want to focus on my area. So I need to empty out these drawers. 
and I want to get some sort of organization system going for my shelving unit. And then we will see what happens after that. So, <laughs> brain fart. Um, I also need to, yeah, because I have like all of my stationary stuff in this basket from moving classrooms. Um, and then did I return the stapler to the grade one room? Oh, did I return? I don't know if I returned the stapler to the grade one room. Um, I might have to find and return the stapler to the grade one room. I think I did. If it's not on my desk, it's right there. Okay, so. Love the aircon. Um, I also need to remember to return the stapler to grade one because I didn't do that last time I was here. Um, but I did text the grade one teacher and tell her, hey, I'm borrowing your stapler. So if you come back and can't find it, probably check the grade five room. So she knows I have it. Or she knows if she can't find it, I probably have it. But okay. I just had an amazing idea. <gasps> that would be perfect. Okay, no, I just had a really good idea. So I have like a bunch of these rings because I'm gonna have the math ones and I'm gonna have my two writing ones and I'm gonna have reading ones. And I also have this somewhere in this mess. Um, oh, I have like these writing or these reading ones and I have another one somewhere of like strategies, but like all of these cards on binder rings. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to like put command hooks along here and then I can hang them inside here so they're like out of the way, but then they're still like hung up and easy for me to access. Okay, yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm gonna put some hooks here, not now, like after I get this whole thing situated. Uh, but first things first, I'm actually gonna hang up my phone to get that up out of the way. You've got to be kidding me, I'm... What phone doesn't, what landline? Why? Why does this not? Okay, I get to finagle with this now. Fixed it, just had to pop that piece up, but ha <laughs> ha, there we go. I was about to say, I'm not sacrificing that space for my landline. Um, all right, so step one accomplished step two um i think is going to be tackling these shelves because i can't work like this much longer actually i lied um step two is going to be finishing my morphology binder because that's going to drive me insane staring at those stacks so i'm gonna work on that so I grab packs and we're going to get the rest of these hole punched and into my binder. All right, took a moment, especially since I stopped to eat, but I finally got all of my stuff in the binder. And then I've got this with my two cards for the wall, my two cards that will go on my for focus wall that week, and then the poster and everything is organized in this binder. It is full. I'm not fitting anything else in this binder, but yeah, I think this plastic piece needs to come out. What I'm going to do now is I've noticed that there's some sticky residue left over on here. So I'm going to take magic stick and get rid of that because ew. There's still a little bit of sticky residue left, but I'm done trying for today. I'll have to continue working on that another day. What I'm going to do right now, I remember what my 
other binder was for, and it was for my, um, not binder, these like thing with like pocket folders. It's for my grammar task cards answer keys. So I have printed these two. I need my scissors and my paper cutter. Neither of them are here. <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the spine. Oh my god, I need to clean off this table. This is driving me up the wall. So let me. Oh, nope, need scissors because this is not long enough to do that. Is just an explosion of sequins over. There we go. All right, got my spine on. So that one's done. And then let's see my other one, which is for my professional development certificate. papers that like I might need to like reference or show somebody but that don't need to like come out of the sleeve so like my task card answer keys for example those don't have to come out of the sleeve when my kids are correcting their task cards they just need to be able to see it so I printed out all of the task card answer keys and they're just all gonna go in there. All right, this binder I don't need. This binder I don't need because I'm switching over to all black binders. Ooh, I need to make things for my binders. Okay, so I need to make those, print those. I've got garbage. All right, let's see if I can get some of this table cleared off because if I can get some of my table cleared off, I'll be able to function normally. Let's see if I can get that done. All right, got everything put in here and I have the tabs to help me keep track of um, different units. So when I'm like opening it for my kids to look at the answer key, I can easily flip to the correct unit, but that one's done. Um, I need to make... I need to make the like labels that's gonna go in here. So we all right, got them printed. And ooh, let's see, and yeah, okay. Um, so it doesn't want to go in. So I'm gonna take this insert from. And then that will help it slide in. There we go. Boom. All right, let's put my labels in my two other binders and then get these on my shelf as well. Okay, so I've got binders done. Um, and then this one's gonna go over here because it's gonna go somewhere else. 
I'm gonna take care of this now, so let's let's take care of this nightmare. So there's really fun things happening. Um, I'm wiping this out with some mood tissue and turns out there's little chunks of watercolor paints in this drawer. Green watercolor, clearly. Um, yeah, so I have cleaned out this back one, which... And this one, okay. This one is, okay. This one is dirty. And I just cleaned out this one as well. But this one, this one, and this one still need to be cleaned out. So I'm annoyed. So this happened. Um, yeah, but I got my markers on the wall. So that's cool. I got my, these are Miss Nelson only's markers. So got my Expo markers and my Crayola markers, but now I need to, I need to take like a magic eraser around this and then still green, which yay, but whatever. I think now I'm going to put my backing on this bookshelf. So let's see how this goes.
better than it was. I'm still eh about it, but it's better than it was before. Cause like, yeah, I think it's better than it was before, but we'll we'll see. We'll we'll get there. Um, we'll figure it out. All right, here's where we are at. Um, it's a hot mess, but anyone who sets up classrooms know it gets way worse before it gets better. So we're in the worst phase. Um, yeah. However, this is much better. Um, I did hang up one of these key rings and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be good. So that'll be good. Um, that stuff is all gonna be moved. That's not staying up there, but we are getting somewhere. I will be back tomorrow to keep working. So I will see you all tomorrow. Well, that didn't last. <sighs> okay, back in my classroom. Day two, obviously. Marcus fell down, so I gotta figure out something else for that. It is, it is ungodly hot today. Like, this is, this is the couple days of the year where I truly question why I live here. Cause I am, I am not built. I'm not built for this. I am, I am built to survive Midwestern prairie winters. I am built to survive in what I think is the North American equivalent of Siberia. That's where I'm from, is North American Siberia. So this whole 90 degrees plus 90% humidity, I'm not, I'm not about this life. Oh my God, I need water. I'm not about this life. This is not, I'm not built for this. <laughs> We, this is not for me. Oh my god, I am very ready for it to be fall. Okay, let's just take in what we've got so far and we'll go from there. So, we've got that mess from yesterday that needs to just go in the trash. I've got that stuff that's math centers that need to be put away, and then that stack of papers that needs a home. Uh, these binders and stuff need to just go in the storage closet because I'm not using those. My table's a hot mess that needs to be fixed. Um, all of those things on this table need to be put away. Um, I know the grade one teacher's coming in today so she's gonna help me hang my sequin wall. I need to find a home for the air purifier because I have looked around and the only uh, the only outlet in this classroom is the one behind my teacher desk right there. You can see where like my phone's plugged in. That is the only outlet in this entire room because I have the power strip that's screwed right there. So I... Like, that's gonna be a problem. My kids all have MacBooks. And like, sometimes they need to be charged during the day. So like, that's, how do I not have a single outlet anywhere else? I do not, I do not understand. There has to be an outlet somewhere. Maybe it's like hiding in a cabinet or something. I don't know, but we'll figure that out. And then, I think I need to start like emptying out these cabinets and going through them because I just shoved stuff in there at the end of last year. So I think I need to like actually pull stuff out and figure out how I'm gonna organize things. And then I can also start making my labels to like cut out and laminate and stuff. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the phase where it's worse before it starts getting better. <laughs> God, I'm getting overwhelmed. Just, I just need to start working because once I start working, I won't, my brain won't let me get overwhelmed. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna start working and we'll see where this takes me. Let's 
talk more headers. So, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I needed to make some more headers, which I have done. So I've got the, so I have approaches to done. So I have approaches to learning, and then I have, ooh, I've got learner and profiles, which this P was an absolute nightmare to cut out. Oh boy. And I've got all the rest of my writing units done. And so I'm just working on cutting out and laminating my reading units and then I will be done. Um, which, thank goodness. So what I think I'm going to do now, I need to work on clearing off this table. Um, that needs to happen. I say um a lot, I've noticed. Okay, I need to work on clearing off this table. And, excuse me, I need to like hole punch and, cause I need to get these on a binder ring, I need to get my math ones on a binder ring. And then I need to put my, oh. That would have been horrific. And to get these on a binder ring. And then this isn't going to happen anytime soon. I also need to sit down and figure out the order that this stuff is going to be taught in. So I know what order to hand the cards out to the kids during the... I'm probably going to get all the cards within the first half of the year. <clears throat> so I need to do that. And then... we've got oh I also need to print myself a new badge my badge before was just like a little laminated card that uh one of the other teachers at the school made for like the entire school for meet the teacher night so I had printed that out and then I printed out uh the schedule and like laminated them together however new year new schedule so I had to throw away my old badge and I need to print another badge so that is another thing that needs to happen probably not today i just need to i need to put a running list on my whiteboard of things that need to get done i have a list of stuff i need to buy from daiso and i need to add a running list of like little things that i'll forget to do but, okay first things first oh here we go so like here so like this was my <clears throat> you can't really see um There we go. This was my, this was my badge um, last year. And then I need to, I have like access to the PDF file with all of our badges on it. So I just need to print another one. I'll laminate it. And then stick it in my badge holder. I might, honestly, next time I go to Daiso and Morning Glory, I might buy myself a new badge holder because these things, like the slit is on the side, so it comes out a lot. So like a lot of us ended up, this hole in the back, a lot of us ended up like putting a piece of tape over the hole so that the badge would stay in our badge holder. So I might, next time I'm at Morning Glory, because I know they have a lot of like different badge holders at Morning Glory. So I might do that. I might not do that. I don't know. I'm rambling. I finally have caffeine in my system and I'm ready to go. So let's, let's get some stuff done. Mostly that. Now what I'm gonna do 
this isn't urgent however i'm i just have visions of like my cards going everywhere so i'm just going to start like hole punching them and putting them on a binder ring because i don't want to have to worry about them just dispersing so that's all i'm doing i'm gonna turn off my phone because it needs to charge for a bit but i'll check back in with you in a bit all right classroom library time so the way that my classroom library is set up there's basically two sections of books this top section of my bookshelf is going to be my like general reading books and then these bottom two shelves are my unit of inquiry books so we all all grades one through five have these red bins for unit of inquiry and then um each bin belongs to a unit so i do these a specific way where there is a colored sticker and so the kids know that all the books with the blue circular sticker go in this bin um that is the easiest way for me to keep these things organized and keep them going. The only one that does not have a sticker is how we express ourselves, and that is because how we express ourselves is exhibition, which is not something that I teach. So to kind of like symbolize that they're on their own and doing their own research, I leave specifically leave this bin empty um, because then we can kind of like talk about how they are responsible for finding information and it's like a whole thing. But this is the only one that will have no books in it and it is for a reason. So it does not get a colored sticker. But I am going to put my, uh, I'm gonna put my books, I'm gonna put my bins back and then I'm gonna sort these and then I'll put my other books on the top shelf. So we'll get there. library so that didn't take too long but here's what the library looks like all set up books put in um, and then so these are just books that kids can grab whenever they need a book to read and then they will also have their book bins which will have like uh, like a bunch of books for them to choose from as well all right let's get calm corner set up Library's done. This is basically done. I had to make and add one for my literacy binders. Now I've got these binders, which more will come, but uh, I need to make labels for these. This is how I organize my photocopies for the week. So like one of these is for math, one is for UOI, and one's for literacy. And then I just make my photocopies, plop them in there, and grab them as needed. Honestly, <laughs> there are so many other things I should do right now. I want to get my headers on my bulletin boards. I think that will help me feel more like it'll feel more real. So I'm going to put my headers on my bulletin board. Yeah, I just, I need to get that done because that's like the thing that I'm thinking about the most. So we're gonna start putting some headers up.
got everything up. And yes, I, I eyeball everything. I don't, no, oh, I don't have time to like bust out. Not when my wall itself is crooked, like the ceiling is crooked. So if I do things straight, there will be an uneven like gap between the top of the bunting and the like white part of my ceiling. If I did everything like actually level, so I do it based off of this, like this part of the ceiling instead. Um, <laughs> I'm annoyed. So this like right here, my thing that's supposed to say morphology right now it just says morph because if I did ology, it would be like all the way over there and I don't need that much space for morphology. So I think it's just gonna say morph. That's just what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I I feel better with my headings on my on my focus walls. That makes me that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, this like class info one it really annoys me that this aircon is right there because I would love to have this up and have more space, but I guess it is what it is. Um, I'll deal with it. Last year that was purple, but since I'm doing um since grammar is purple this year i just did that in like black and white but oh yay headers are up we are prepared i think i'm i'm gonna put up the like unit headers as well just to see what it's gonna look like because i'm excited Together. Best idea I've ever had. That was so much easier than last year. Um, yeah, nope. <sighs> that was that was one of the best ideas I've ever had. So <sighs> I'm so happy about that. Um, yay! I think now I kind of want to put a table in the hallway and then just move. Because there's some third grade stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. So I kind of want to just put a table in the hallway and move that out there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, update time. Sequin wall has been put up. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. This is... I think this will be a good, like, sensory thing for my kids. Um, I'm excited and then I have my one special friend who is either going to absolutely love this or absolutely hate it There is no in between But I think this will be I'm excited to see who like actually Uses this a lot, but I got my sequin wall and I've got Learner profile and approaches to learning hung up once I get the posters made with the kids. They're gonna go on this wall I'm very happy with these titles. Thank you to Suzanne for helping me hang this stuff up and making sure it's straight. Oh, I think... It's five o'clock, I should go home. I think I'm going, oh, but the public transportation is gonna be I'm kind of feeling like I should stay for a bit until rush hour. Oh, this is gonna be rush hour. Ugh. Maybe I'll treat myself and get a taxi home because <laughs> this is, oh, rush hour right now is gonna be so awful in this heat. I think I'm gonna stay for a bit and then I'll, I might end up taking a taxi home because I don't know if I can. I don't know if I could deal with, it's so hot y'all, it's 93 degrees outside. I need to stand under my aircon because it's so bad. 
like oh, it's gonna be awful when the kids come in i i don't even know what i'm gonna do so mm. okay i think i want to hang up my like morphines and affixes yeah i'm gonna hang up my like morphines and aff my morphines thing where I'm gonna put, I showed you before where it's like morphemes and then affixes and root words. I think I'm gonna put that up right now. could have gone so much worse than it did. All right, so I've got my, the, my those. Got my like group discussion things up. I'm in, I'm in a mode now, I wanna keep going. What, what else can I, ooh, I can put up. I could put up my multiples posters. I think I'm gonna put, the grade three teacher last year had her multiples posters like up above the whiteboard. And honestly, I think I wanna do mine there as well. So I think I'll put, I'll put my multiples posters. Yep, I'm gonna put them up above the whiteboard. So I'm gonna turn this, there we go. And let's put my multiples posters up. everything that I'm gonna get done today. I need to pack up and head home because I'm so tired. I need to go home and I have other stuff that needs my attention at home. So this is the end of day one and two of classroom setup and I will see you guys next time with some more classroom setup. So see ya.